Hello all, welcome to another edition of Cooper's Commentaries, this time it's episode 4. We are this week in Hills, or next to Hills, between Hills and Garrison. We're fighting an Abaddon's Mouth blob, so this week we're going to be talking about a blob fight. How to fight blobs, outnumbered fights, things like that. So, uh, basics of a blob fight is, <coughs> excuse me, don't go deep obvious really if you're outnumbered you don't want to be pushing to the back line because you'll just get surrounded and swarmed so you don't go deep you just put the push the front edge um always the front group and if they push towards you you back away so you want to try and maintain that distance if it's a big blob fight they're not all going to be stacked in one point during a fight they're going to be starting to spread out moving around to the left and right sides so yeah it, um, some of them are going to be way back in the background because they're not confident fighters some guys are going to be overconfident and they're going to be charging you sit alone um, before the rest of the blob does so you have to pick your fights well so you, you you can pull away when they push and when they stop pushing stand your ground um, so you basically maintain that distance away from them that way any overextenders that come in and carry on pushing when the blob stops you can pick them off when they run into you alone and then um, another thing to take note of is uh, obviously choke points with blob fights if you're a 25 man group and you're against say a 60 man group in eb uh, you want to use choke points to your advantage and try and maintain that choke point as soon as that choke point is is lost the 60 man group can spread out around you in a, in a giant arc in front of you and that's how you get surrounded as well so you want to use choke points so in this video you'll see we do get um overran um, and I want to try and show show you how we how we got overran and how we could have avoided it if we were to do this fight again. Um, so for us this week, the choke point is this pathway that you can see, we're leading up to hills, um, and then we do get overran as we back away. Another point is the way I see it um, against blob fights is um, if you imagine painting a fence, you know, okay, you've got a paintbrush, you dip it in the tin. Okay, you you put your your paintbrush on the fence at the top, reaching up high, and then you start getting drips off the paintbrush or drips going down the fence. That's how you want to fight blob fights. You want to catch those drips that go a bit too far out, and that's the group that you're going to hit. So if you imagine the blob fight, you've got a big line in front of you, spread out left to right. One, you know, you've got a group on your left, you've got a group in the middle, you've got a group on your right. And they're far away from you as soon as one of those groups get too close to you and the other group is too far away you can hit the group that's too close so say um you know you get a drip on the right hand side a paint drip on the right there's a group on the right that's pushed a little bit closer than the other groups that's the group you'll hit and then you'll pull out and then you'll watch for the next drip to pull out and then and then say the left side pushes towards you then you'll push the left side to keep keep maintaining that flat edge of the blob you don't want the blob to get confidence you want to keep them scared there's a lot of physical and uh, not physical um psychological um battle as well it's not just the the gameplay there's also the players behind the keyboards that you've got to try and fit um you got to try and freak them out get them scared so they're not willing to push with the rest of the blob okay so that's how you want to take blob fights and on uh, and outnumbered situations Okay, so if we play it now, as you can see, I just said we're at hills. We built an omega to try and get them out of the keep. So we've just been at the gate. They all showed up, so I pulled away. I'm not sure how many it is right now, so I'm waiting for them to gather. I still can't quite see. There's some on the cliff edge. There's some on the path. So we just push up slightly. I'm not pushing into them. I'm just seeing how many there are. So you can see around the back of the cliff there's a few more coming up to keep still. So that gives me an idea of how many they are. I reckon that's around 50. 50, 60 maybe. Not quite a full map blob, but big enough. So you can see we were a bit close there to the cliff when we come back down. We dropped some AOEs, expecting them to push on us. Which they didn't. They built a ram. Let's ignore that. You can see the, the, the group starting to spread out now, see what I mean, by left and right sides. We've got a group on the right on the cliff, group on the left on the path coming down slowly. So we're just drawing them out now, moving close to them, getting them, com um, getting them uncomfortable. 
moving back again. Remember what I said, we're not pushing deep. Let them push to us and we'll catch the drift. You see the group behind us there? It's the same server, both at Baden's mouth. So I'm, I don't want to get pushed on two fronts. I just want to get pushed on one front. So we try and push towards this group, but they run away. So we turn around. I want to protect that golem still. It's still an Omega. It's not very useful right now, but it's still a golem. And golems cost money, as we all know. So that group's run away. That's in the back of my mind now that that second group is behind us. So we push towards the main group. I'm trying to get that second group behind me to turn around and come back to us. So again, the blob runs away. So I'm waiting for the group behind to show up. Looking behind me all the time, seeing so looking towards the garrison, trying to see if they're there. They're too far away. So again, it's just a waiting game. Patience is the best form of fighting. If you can be out patient, is the second group coming back now. If you can uh, have patience, you'll win the fight more often than not. You can see this group's coming a bit close. So I take my opportunity to blobs way far away, so we can take our opportunity to hit the smaller group, get rid of this second push. I don't want the blob to push us, we pull out for a regroup, and then this group comes in and tries to hit our regroup. I want nice clean regroups against outnumbered guys. So we quickly hit them as hard as we can. We actually managed to down almost all of them. That gives the blob the opportunity to fight, so we pull away. That's the first paint drift there. See the group on the left pushed in for the rest of the blob. So now we're just kiting now. Dropping damage in front and we keep moving away. You can see we always move out of those AOEs on the floor. Pulling out now. See them starting to merge into a ball now. This is their push, so we, we spike it. This is our first spike down. I get CC'd out. But the spike is still down there. Look at the down we get there. So we try and push in to finish the down. We're starting to get surrounded now. See them all around us. Go somewhere to clean ground where there's no AOE on the floor. To get our water field regroup. Quick and powers as well. So again, we push over the downs. Against blob fights, it's important to finish the downs. They are rallies for you. But more importantly, it thins their numbers down. So there's no chance of them swarming you. So again, we pull out for a quick regroup, push their regroup. You see most of the blobs start to run now, so I believe we get their leader down in that fight. There's no other reason for them to leave, other than the fact that the, their commander went down. So right now we're just picking off as many as we can. So again, as they push to us, we see where we started that fight. We started in the trees on the left there, and we kited all the way back to garrison. So that's what I mean when I say, when they push, you pull away. So it's always kind of like a kite, depending on how confident you are in the fight. Okay, just then we, we pulled off hills because they were st sitting inside the keep still. We pulled off hills, we went to garrison, we hit the gate to try and contest it to make it look like we are hitting garrison so they'd port somewhere else. And we went back to hills. They pushed out, they were chasing the BB group. So we put, they're pushing deep here. I want to get them in combat so they can't port anywhere. Pull back on ourselves. Quick and powers, get our damage up and then drop the spike. That's our spike down. And again, kite back. Pick off the guys left and right sides, don't get surrounded. You want, you want to have empty space behind you at all times. So you've got that clean regroup. Push the right side, fake push, too much AOE. So again now look around, we've got one one group in front, see the paint drift coming on the left hand side, so we hit the paint drift, so we're then pushing behind us, look behind me, nothing's behind, nice clean regroup now because there's nothing behind, watching the right side, lots of AOE on the left, so we push up the right side, Out, outside the AOE ranging it and we, we cut them off, basically we, anything behind me now is dead, because we cut them off, we can't push forward to banner because we're in front, you can see we're getting hit by a ballista there right on the hill, I don't notice until uh, a little bit later. We're still getting hit by that ballista. I'm wondering what's hitting me now. Okay, so they pulled back to the keep. <coughs> I'm just trying to heal up now. Thinking what's hitting me, asking the guild what's hitting me in team speak. Got a regroup back. Everyone nice and tight. We get told there's a blister. Well, I get told there's a blister up there, so we push towards it now. Target is the blister. CC on the path, so they can't push us or retreat. 
hit the ballista out as fast as we can. Master spike wells everything down. Get a few kills easy. Pull off. Go again without a ballista this time. So again, always keep the always have an exit plan and an attack plan when you're fighting groups. So always my during this entire fight my attack plan is to take out guys that overextend. Those paint drips I was talking about before, any group that pushes forwards more than the rest. So this is just to draw out a push right now, we're pushing close. You can see most of them retreat, there's a group isolated on the left, so we take them out. Okay, and you also want an exit plan whenever you push or whenever you're fighting. So my exit plan is always to retreat down the pathway um, towards Garrison. It's always my retreat plan. This, this is why I don't want people behind me. I don't want enemy groups behind or to the sides. Because when we pull back like I'm doing now, we can get hit from behind. We can get hit from the left from the trees. We can get hit from the right from um, below hills there on those trees. You can see there's a group just pushed out to the right hand side. So that's a bit of a paint drift to me. We push to the tree. We don't go deep, remember? We're not going deep, just to the front. There are still a few of them behind me. But that's why I'm not pushing deeper than, any deeper than that. We roll out to the left side, outside the AoEs. Again, going around the AoEs, AoEs and the Crescent Moon. See, they come in now, so we pull back and kite out. Get out of their push. Remember my exit plan. Quick and power regroup. Get our health up a bit. Push not the right side. Once again, AoEs are on the left side, so we push the right side. Paint drip on the left, so we go for it. Don't want them pushing in behind us. Lots of damage, so we pull out. You can see there's a group on the hill on the top left, there's a group on the right, resin their down. The group that we hit, and another group way back on the cliffs. This is what a choke point does. It's it's uh, makes the blob into chunks that you can take out. So this pathway is, is a perfect choke point for us. Now we're backing away, they're pushing, so we drop a huge spike on this their push, and just get out of their push. We go back in just like a standard self spike right there. Drop the damage, roll out of it, wait three seconds, go back in, finish the down, pull back out, we do. Go for regroup, that stops their push, this is the psychological warfare I was talking about, now they're afraid to push us now. That was their big push and, they, and we just demolished them with it. So again we push up. Yeah, most of them have pulled back, there's a small group here resin, so again, that's another paint drip you can take out, guys that are too close than the rest of the group. Easy kills right there. Take out the down, quick remember to focus the down, get them killed, stop them from rallying, don't let their friends res them. You see we've got one of our guardians down there, so in my mind, one of the parties in my group is, a, is down the stability. So I expect a few more stability issues to come up, I'm playing even more cautious. Right now I'm baiting the push, you see I've moved right around the left hand side, I've opened up that pathway on the right for them to push down. They just push straight towards, straight towards us, so same as last time, just a self spike, standard self spike, drop your damage, roll out, go back in, finish the down, pull back out, regroup. Whenever you pull out you want to you drop your CCs behind, so that's you know, guardian lines, Ellie walls, you know, your, your air fours, your, even your mobs, you know, your guardian hammers with your three skill. On your way out, just turn around and, and drop a three, just a mob behind you so you can't chase. Um, warriors, you want to use your warhorn form, a uh, warhorn four to uh, to break out of uh, your mobs on their push. So you can see right now, there's lots of AOEs on the right, so we move on the left. There's a, there's a small group on the right hand side, that's a, that's a paint drift right there, so we push to it. This is where we start losing the fight. They get behind us, so we have to push behind. Look at the, where we are right now. We were in a nice choke point on the pathway. Now look where we are, we're, we're in massive open space. This is where the blob has the advantage because they can spread out. So we have to keep kiting back. We push down the right, see them push down the left. So again, we have to turn back and go left side. Don't want them to get behind us, see they could easily swing behind. You want to protect your backline, make, your, make sure your casters are basically free casting. Make sure your melee are the guys that are taking the hits because they can take it. We drop a big spike on the hill there, we get out of their spike. Move around the right side, see them pulling off the right for a regroup. Leaves their left side exposed, so we go off and finish the down. Same as always, finish the down. They've just regrouped on the right on the path there, so they're pushing towards us. So again, we roll out the spike. 
drop damage behind, quicken powers, get our damage up as we carry on pushing, which is what they do. These are the overextenders now on top of us. We're starting to lose players now. As you can see, the numbers of the blob have grown. This is probably the full map blob now. Go for a push on the right side because they're a bit um, out in the open. Group on the left pushes towards us so we just pull out. Go around this guardian wall. Quick regroup. Get as much healing as you can. Look at the down we've got. We've got lots of down but there's too many players to go back and finish them. So we have to keep kiting. And obviously they get rezzed. Those down players will just get rezzed. We've lost too many guardians. We got overran when we moved out to open space. They got in behind us. Our casters couldn't free cast. And we ended up losing too many players to continue to fight, so we just we just pull out and regroup. And we'll go again. Okay, so that was this week's fights. Um I wanna go back on a few things just to quickly highlight them. Okay, so firstly what I wanna highlight is what I call slingshotting. Which is, as you can see here, we're walking backwards slowly. This is how I imagine um, pulling back a slingshot. We're ready to push, but we're pulling back slowly. This is to draw a push from the enemy group. As, we, as you can see, it usually works. You'll see this in all my videos. I'll do a slingshot on a group, which is basically pull back slowly, wait for them to push, see the push on the right-hand side, and then release the slingshot and then push towards them. As you can see there, that's the release of the slingshot. We're pushing into them now. So basically walking backwards slowly, number one it keeps your melee train tight, number two it draws out a push like it just did there, and uh, number three it's a surprise attack. So if they're pushing and they just keep pushing, keep pushing, you can just release the slingshot and, and change direction instantly. So that's what it is, it's a, it's a swift change in direction when it's unexpected. Most groups will see you backing away slowly and they'll think oh they don't want to fight so we can push them. So what are those secondary? is uh, blocking reses so we can see we rezzed one guy there you see there's another guy just there on the left I see them resin so I block it with the melee train basically cuts off anyone see that guy just pulled out there um, trying to stomp so basically that's what it is for is to stop um, stop body block it with your melee train so it's a, fr a free res behind you there's no interruptions from them trying to res you down and um, so again just a quick overview of blob fights, outnumbered fights, anything like that. Uh, don't go deep. Always go to the front edge, never go deep. If it's a massive blob, like a map blob, bait the spike, bait bait their AoE. So do lots of fake pushes. Lots of push in left, change direction right. Push in right, change direction left. Try and bait their AoEs to go down on the floor. So then you can change direction and get out of that AoE. And baiting the spikes, you know, a fake push straight line towards them. Go halfway towards them, and turn around, get a few AOE, AOE skills cast there. So you want to try and reduce the damage as much as you can by baiting damage before you're actually standing in it. Um, again, always fr fr uh, fight the front edge. Don't go deep. If you try and push to the back line against a blob, you just get surrounded. You've got no exit plan at all because there's everywhere you turn. There's an enemy group. There's an enemy ball of players. So. You always go to the front edge um, and a secondary to that as well is if your melee train is surrounded your necromancers can't place the wells because they have to push through enemy groups to get to the melee train to drop the wells on top of you um, and the same for elementalists you know if you pull off for a regroup when you're surrounded they have to push through enemies to actually do their job to drop the water field so there's all this extra stuff that they have to do which they can do without if you just pu push the front edge um, try and maintain that front edge of the blob so if you see a group pushing around the right you see a smaller group pushing around the left you try and hit that group and stop that push and get them back in the ball you want to try and basically slap them back into the blob um, with your pushes so that's the paint drips there and obviously the use of choke points is extremely important against blob fights so uh, a 60 man group bottle bottlenecked into a choke point becomes the same effectiveness as a 20 man group it's only in massive open field like you saw in the video um, when uh, we moved away from the pathway up to the hills keep and we moved down the pathway towards garrison towards the more open field crossroads area that's when the blob started to uh, 
started to take the advantage because they were able to spread out, surround us, pull off and pull, you know, sneak attacks, all that kind of stuff was going on. We couldn't maintain that front edge. We can't push the right group and still at the same time pull off that push and go to the left hand side because it's too far of a distance for us to cover. So inevitably we're going to get surrounded and that, that's what lost us the fight. So we, tr we have to try and maintain that choke point and uh, again psychological warfare with some of the players um, get them scared to push get them afraid um, and then you'll have the advantage through that as well um, an attack plan how you want to attack against blobs outnumbered fights anything like that know the enemy groups tactic um, probably next week we'll, I'll do something about venom share how to counter that against the blobs or you know against the groups um, of, of the, the new venom share well necro tactic that's starting to be prevalent probably becoming meta soon so you want to start thinking about how to counter that um, I may do a video on that I may not depends how how prevalent it is um, but yeah an attack plan how you plan to attack these groups my plan of attack in this in this video was to take out the overextenders the groups that push too far in front from the rest of the group try and push back push them back up that hill um, and maintain that choke point um, and against uh, with an attack plan comes an escape plan how you plan to escape how you're going to get your regroups um, so my plan then was basically just pull away from the fight completely um, to empty ground empty space there's no players there's no AOE easy regroups um, obviously make sure you've got enough distance to um, to actually cast your um, empowers um, you know fully to get that heal off um and uh, yeah just slingshot draw out the push um walk backwards slowly keeps your melee train tight ranged always keep your distance even against blob fights keep that distance because you never know when suddenly they're just gonna all you know 60 man blob just push you when that happens you turn it into from a fight into a kite um so then you, you change your tactic completely then it, it goes from we'll push this group we'll push that group we'll pull out we'll push this group to just pull out pull out pull out kite 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 and then a surprise spikes at one point when they're drawn out they're stretched out enough that it's it's a, there's about 10 players right next to you and the rest of the players are a bit further back because as you're kiting you're dropping cc behind you so they slow down and um, some players will get chill on them like you say some players will get um cripple some players won't have stability so they can't get past all that stuff stretch them out make them in a big snake chasing you and then when you've got enough players that you can actually kill them you stop your kite and you turn around and you spike it hard and then you continue to kite because the rest of the players will then catch up whilst you're killing the others and um, so that's kite and so you turn a fight a blob fight into a kite and spike after that point when they then stop pushing when the blob turns around and goes back to where they came from because they can't catch you because you're kiting so much then you turn around and turn it back into a fight turn it back into a push catch that back line as they're trying to run away back to the the commander and again easy easy kills against blob fights is over extenders fake pushing and um hitting those paint drips so again that's that's this week's episode it's nice and short and sweet this week um next week as i say potential venom share talk maybe depends what we get next week um in in our matchup um and if it's worth actually talking about to you um so that's it for this week episode four is done and i'll see you next time <laughs>